Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at battery drain on the iPhone. And now in this video, I wanted to share with you guys my personal tips and recommendations options on your device that you can enable or disable in order to improve the battery life on your iPhone. These are going to be options that I use every single day and I get anywhere from 30 to sometimes even 40 minutes of extra on-screen time just by simply changing a few options on my device. And I figured I'd share those options with you guys in today's video in hopes to improve the battery life and hopefully prevent quicker battery drain off your device so let's go ahead and dive right into this video so the first options i recommend you turn off in order to preserve some of the battery on your iphone have got to do with product improvements and significant location now these options are on by default on your iphone and most users don't even know that these options are constantly tracking them in order to improve apple's very own services and in order to turn these off i'm going to show you how to do that you want to go into settings you want to jump into privacy and security right here you want to go into the location services and then we want to scroll all the way to the bottom here and then we'll find system services click into that then scroll one more time all the way to the bottom as you can see right here we have the product improvements category these are going to be three options that are constantly tracking you as you can see there from the purple arrow so if you don't use things like apple maps as i mentioned or apple services you can turn off the tracking analytics and improvements for maps as you can see right there and another option that's on by default that's always tracking you is significant location so if we tap into significant location it would ask us for face id or to use the passcode in order to unlock this one so once you enter into this section of your iphone you see that significant location toggle can be turned off this means that your iphone will no longer be tracking you everywhere you go as you can see right here it's tracked me 426 times over the past couple of months so my iphone knows everywhere i went in order to provide relevant information for maybe traffic or restaurants and things like that in maps but if you don't use apple services again you can turn off significant location and also clear all the history which you can see right here at the bottom can be clear by simply clicking on this and this will erase all the locations that your iphone has tracked you into this one specific area now you can go ahead and turn this off and this will help improve the battery life of your iphone now before we continue i wanted to share a quick word from our sponsors tessens and their nine in one 65 watt charging tower now this tower is super compact it fits perfectly with my studio setup i love the design it is light portable and again it fits anywhere in the studio i've been using it over the past couple of weeks to charge multiple devices multiple iphones my apple watch even power my home pods and my studio display and i have to say i am loving this new tower that i'm using in my studio with nine ports two usb c's at 65 watt output four usb a's we have three AC outlets going around the tower. Again, it is portable light and it also offers this 45 degree flush plug in order to create more space. And if you wanna plug it behind a desk, it is perfect for that as well. Now, gain technology also empowers this charging station to deliver lightning fast charging without compromising on users' safety. So I highly recommend you check out Tessin's nine-in-one charging tower. Of course, all the links will be available for you in the description down below. So with iOS 17.2 or newer, you now have the new journal app on your iPhone, but it does offer suggestions as well. Now, if you want to preserve the battery, I've noticed that if you turn off the suggestions and just use it normally whenever you wish, this will help preserve the battery life of your iPhone as well. So how do you do this? Well, you want to go into settings. You want to scroll until you find the privacy and security section. Once again, you want to go into journal suggestions. And right here, you have control of everything in terms of notification, suggestions, and so forth. As you can see right here, I can go ahead and turn all these suggestions off right there with just one click, or I can choose which suggestions to turn off. I can also clear the history. Now, if you don't care for the journal application or iOS 17.2 or newer, you can also delete the application entirely, and this will help preserve some of the battery life of your iPhone as well. Now, another option you may consider turning off in order to preserve some of that battery life on your iPhone has got to do with the app privacy report. Now, this keeps track and logs of everything you do on your iPhone from websites to applications to sensors being used by your iPhone but if you typically don't look at this information ever then you can just turn it off because you're not using it anyway so you want to go into settings you want to scroll until you find the privacy and security section and then scroll all the way to the bottom and right there it is the app privacy report this tells you any data and sensors being used by your applications tracks your apps also tracks your websites and logs this information in for you so you can look at it if you need to do so however again if you 
you don't ever use it, you can turn it off right here. Turn off app privacy report. It will give you the warning that it will stop recording app activities. You can go ahead and click OK. And this will help preserve the battery life of your device if you typically don't care for this type of information. Now, another option I recommend that you disable on your iPhone in order to regain some of that battery life back is app tracking. Now, for those of you that may not know, when you download an application from the App Store, it may ask you to allow tracking. Now, this is to provide rather relevant information or ads and things like that. But if you don't want any app to track you, of course, you can go into privacy and security, and then you can go into tracking, right? There it is. So once you tap into tracking, you have a list of all the applications that do request to track. However, if the button is green, of course, it is currently tracking you. If you don't want the app to track you, you want to turn it off just like so. And Apple has made a toggle here that if you disable this option, it means no app will request to track you in the future. And that's, of course, the option that I'm going with in order to continue to preserve the battery life on my iPhone, I definitely recommend you turn off tracking generally completely on your device. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about the haptics on your device. So if you use your iPhone with keyboard haptics, I recommend that you turn off keyboard haptics in order to preserve battery life on your device. Even Apple mentions that this option being enabled could impact the battery life of your iPhone. So how do you turn off keyboard haptics? So you want to go into settings, you want to go into sound and haptics, and then you want to scroll down until you find the keyboard feedback option right there it is and right there's the option you can turn it off haptics and now you'll be able to enjoy longer battery life again apple themselves mentions that if you do have the haptics keyboard enabled this can negatively impact the battery life of your device and these are some of the simple options you can enable or disable on your device in order to preserve battery life and hopefully this will help you in the future with ios 17 i know a lot of users continue to express concern in regards to battery and battery performance and these are going to be the options that's helped me the most i hope you guys enjoy the video and helped you in some way thank you for watching don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on the next one peace